Never fun can take its toll on our skin. So what is it that works for those scrapes, those bites, allergic reactions, and how can we keep our skin moisturized? Andrea, you're back now with all sorts of really nice natural ways for us to keep our skin looking good yes. all throughout the summer. Um, and we're going to start with our feet. Yes, our feet. So neglected, right? Yes. Often. So I thought we can do an in-home spa. Okay. Which is I a like foot it. soak, which is amazing. So really easy to do. Okay. So you just get, you know, a big bucket and you put some water in it, warm water. Mm -hmm. And then what I like to use, you want to use a salt. I like the Medi Soak Cleanse. Okay. So you just add the salt to the bucket. Here, I want you to smell these, which are amazing. And then there's also the Medi, the Medi Bath. Yep, the Medi Body Bath. And what's so nice about these salts Ooh. is that there's four different types of premium salts. Yeah. Salts are really good at rejuvenating the feet, but also reducing pain. Okay. It has red clay that helps to slough off all the dead skin. Good. And it has clove oil, which makes it smell so That's good. That's what makes it smell good. Which is a natural an like anti anesthetic that helps to numb the pain as well, which so is really is nice. You're, you're outside, you're hiking, you're you're walking a lot, yeah, you're on the beach, you're whatever on the beach. it is. Yeah. So this is just going to soothe them so that they're ready to take on another day. And you can also do a soak with vinegar. Because vinegar oh, really? has, if you have smelly feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got the, smelly you toes. know, sockless in the leather shoes. Yep. Like that's a recipe for disaster. That's it, not breathing. So right? you can do a vinegar soak. So you want to do a two to one soak of water to vinegar. Yeah. And it's antifungal. So it helps to good. reduce the bacteria that causes the smelliness in the first place. And okay. you can add some essential oils to make it smell good. Lovely. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Do, right? Spot home. Okay, so what are we doing with cranberry seeds? Oh, I'm really here. excited for you to try this. Okay, so this is organic cranberry seed oil. Okay. And what's amazing about it is that it's very moisturizing. Mm. It has tocopherols, tocotrienols, vitamin E family. Okay. As well as antioxidants. So here, I want you to try this. Put some on your hand and then rub it in. And what's so nice about it is it literally soaks right up into your skin. Mm -hmm. So it also has anti-inflammatory benefits. Yep. Which is great. And anti-aging benefits. Ooh. So what I do is I put it into Look my own Look at you perking up. <laughs> <laughs> anti-aging benefits. Anti okay. So I put it into my skincare and I'm like anti and blah 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 yeah. anti-aging that's what everyone's like Woo. I love it okay which is great so you want the organic cranberry seed oils and what's so nice about it is that you can put it into you have the oil itself that you can use mm -hmm. or you can also find it in shampoos and conditioners even baby diaper rash cream because cool. it helps to soothe itchy dry skin okay so this is yeah. what is this like if you have bites and stuff like that or if you're just getting like heat dry rash, skin dry sunburn, sunburn it helps sunburn. to it helps to prevent and possibly even reverse uv damage oh uv damage it only good. takes 30 to 45 minutes cranberry seed oil can help prevent and possibly reverse that that's amazing which is great that's very good yeah, which is right. okay imagine we're talking about burns here yeah so mild sunburns yeah. this is aloe now the active ingredient in aloe is called aloin that's okay. what's responsible for its anti-inflammatory benefits okay really easy to use aloe so you can take an actual leaf cut it in half put a thin layer as much as you need onto your skin yeah. a couple times or many times a day mm -hmm. <laughs> you can even, you can also use the gel yes. so if you don't want to use the actual leaf you can use a gel just make sure you're looking for one that's clear Okay. Because if it's green, yes. which a lot of companies do, they're adding coloring to it. And you don't need that. You don't want the coloring. You want pure aloe, 100% aloe vera gel. Okay. And if you have little kids at home, you can make ice cubes with aloe in it. So boo-boo oh. cubes. The little boo-boo boo cubes. So you can yeah. make, fifth, you want to do half with water, half with aloe, because yeah. aloe itself won't freeze. Okay. So you want to do half and half, and it's yeah. amazing. You kind of just put it on, and it cools the skin too, right? So if you have that mild nice. sunburn, which is really nice. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's really good for sunburns. Um, here we have, are these So this is called, this is called silver. Silver. So uh, colloidal silver, ionic yeah. silver. I don't know if you've heard of it before. Yes. These are. This is one of my favorite things to have at home. And my eight-year-old asks for it. So if she cuts and she has cuts and scrapes. She okay. will say, "Mom, I need the silver." Okay. So it's. I've heard of it for colds and stuff. Don't yeah, they have you can, like a tincture, yes. like a silver. You can yeah. take it internally. It helps to boost the immune system. Okay. So you can put it on your skin as well. So it's antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial. It acts as a natural disinfectant, which is great. Very good. And it's good for minor wounds and infections. Yes. As I was literally preparing for the segment, I cut my finger and then burned it. The next day. Oh my god. I'm like, I've got my silver. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. And then literally I put it on. I use the silver biotics, the armor yes. gel. I put it on, wrapped it in a bandage, and the next day, a lot better. Oh wow. Yeah, okay, really that's really good. Well, so it's amazing. natural. And it has a special technology called silver saw, which I really like, which is researched. So there's okay. a lot of research behind it and it's safe for adults and kids. Beautiful. Yeah, which is All great. right, and finally we have. Okay, so we see this is black seed oil. Yes. So black seed oil comes from the Nigella sativa plant. It's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And this mm -hmm. is what the color looks like. What's amazing about black seed oil is it's good for pretty much any skin issue. Okay. So you could use it for athlete's foot, um, you know, poison ivy. You could, oh, research okay. shows it helps to 
reduce the symptoms of eczema. It helps with psoriasis, cold sores. You name it, mm. black seed oil topically helps with all that. Again, you could take it internally for boosting okay. your immune system, which is nice. So you can apply it directly to the skin condition. Yeah. It won't burn or sting. Okay. So again, it's safe for, for adults and children. And the active ingredient is called, well, there's two. One is thymol, which is a disinfectant, mm -hmm. a natural disinfectant. And the other one is thymoquinone, okay. which, is an anti, which is an antioxidant, which is responsible for many of its amazing benefits. So what about mosquito bites? Does it? Apply it right on it. You can put okay. it right on it. You can even do the silver. You can do the black seed oil. Put it right on it. So it, it might just soothe, soothe it. it a little bit. Exactly. So you're not It'll like help to soothe it, it, which is nice. It's antibacterial, antifungal. I mean, it has so many amazing properties. Yeah. And NRX is their black seed oil has the highest amount of thymoquinone on the market. Oh my which gosh. Is amazing. The, you've yeah. got like an incredible vocabulary. You must kill it <laughs> at Scrabble off. Thymoquinone. Quinone. Like you must win every single time you play Scrabble.